Tragically, a 39-year-old activist who had spent decades fighting AIDS has gone away. Here you are slash lifestyle slash notable deaths in the celebrity world. Tragically, a 39-year-old HIV slash AIDS activist has passed away. Hedia Broadbent, an outspoken and longtime advocate for the battle against AIDS, died suddenly at the age of 39. Little Broadbent was adopted by Patricia and Lauren Broadbent after she was left at the University Medical Center of Southern Nevada in Las Vegas. Their Broadbent came into this world. The doctors were worried that she wouldn't make it past childhood because she was born with HIV. In order to reach millions of people and teach them, she had to overcome all the obstacles that stood in her way. Her legacy will be carried on from here on out. Hidea enchanted the globe in 1996 when, as a young woman, she appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show and shared with millions of viewers her story of surviving AIDS. At his 1984 birth, Broadbent was already a victim of heroin and crack cocaine, and he was also born with HIV. Lauren and Patricia Broadbent her adoptive parents, did not find out that she tested positive for HIV until three years following her adoption. It wasn't until they adopted her at six weeks old that they discovered her. Before she left, Broadbent traveled the world extensively, making radio and television appearances and meeting people from many different cultures. She did this to teach others from her courageous experience how to make courageous decisions based on accurate facts and to avoid risky behaviors. I actually don't remember her crying, Broadbent remarks, addressing the topic at an earlier moment. The experience of performing on stage and chatting with Oprah following the show is vividly etched in my memory. It is something I will never forget. Additionally, she gifted me an American girl Addie doll and took the time to introduce me to her animals. Following my appearance on Oprah's Where Are They Now a year ago, I got an absolutely incredible response. The show highlighted me. Finding out that I was one of the updates that many people wanted the most surprised me. People feel like they've seen me grow up, and they're delighted to hear that I'm still thriving and making my voice heard. The number of people who hold this view is high. An excerpt from Broadbent's interview with the Red Pump Project is as follows. When I was really young, I didn't understand the magnitude of what I was doing. However, I was aware that I wanted to ensure that I was accepted, not just by myself, but also by a significant portion of my friend circle. The importance of having meaningful conversations with men and women of all ages is something I truly believe in. Being an example for the people you're attempting to reach is crucial to building rapport with them. By sharing your story of advocating abstinence and making safe sexual practices accessible, you can be a powerful influence in the fight against HIV AIDS and in raising awareness about the disease. Because I was brought into this world with HIV, people tend to think my experience is unique. The story I've told is to blame for this. You put yourself at risk of contracting the same HIV AIDS virus that I was diagnosed with and am now coping with if you don't practice safe sexual behavior and know your own and your partner's HIV status. I am managing my HIV status at the moment. I am sincerely hoping that others would use my story as a warning regarding something that no one wants to go through.